Okay, we're talking about customary capacity right now. And on customary capacity, it's uh, very important to, uh, I, I like to call the big G. It kind of gives you a, a visual representation of what, you know, how cups and ounces and, and quarts and pints all relate to each other. So what you do, you start off with a G and you make it really big so you can fit all your information in it. Okay. Okay, and inside the G, uh, if I look on my math chart, inside a gallon there's four quarts. <coughs> so there's four quarts in a gallon, so I'm going to put four Qs inside my G. Looking pretty big here. It's one Q, another Q, kind of big there, another Q, and another Q. That's not really prospectively correct, but. There's four quarts in a gallon. Okay, if I look on my math chart again, there's two pints in each quart. So I'm going to put two pints in each of my quarts. It's one, it's two, two pints in that quart, two pints in that quart, and two pints in this quart. Even though it's my smallest one, there are still just quarts. Okay, and that makes it really easy to see because if you look on your math chart, there's not a um, uh, there's not a conversion between pints to gallons. But now that I can see that there are uh, there's eight pints in a gallon because I got eight other peas inside my big G. And if I look at my math chart, I also have two cups in each pint. So I'm going to put two of the C's in each one of my pints. And uh, this way I can see, <coughs> all I'd have to do is count my C's to see how many cups there are in a gallon. And uh, I can see that there's uh, 16 cups in each gallon. Next thing I could do, I could go ahead and look at my uh, math chart and compare ounces to cups. And on each, uh, each uh, cup has eight ounces, so I'm going to put an eight inside of each one of my cups here. That's representing that there's eight ounces inside each cup. Okay. And, uh, See, I don't have a, a relationship on my math chart between gallons and ounces, but I could, I could do a pretty quick calculation and figure it out. Uh, if there's 16 times 8, that's going to be 128. So there's 120, 128 ounces in a gallon. Or I could look at within a quart. Within a quart, I got 4 eighths, so that's 32 ounces in a quart. Or a pint, there's 16 ounces uh, in a pint, fluid ounces that is. So I, I think the making the big G learn how to do that is going to be very helpful because there is going to be some calculations or conversions that we have to do when it's asking us to compare uh, between things that aren't necessarily on our math chart and I feel it's a little bit easier to, uh, to represent the data by looking at it like this.